As the snow melts and the days grow longer, caribou, more than three million of them, start their migration across the tundra. the longest overland migration on Earth, with some herds traveling 2,000 miles in a single year, and is totally dependent on vast open spaces. The herd stays on the move, so newborn calves have to be on their feet and running from the day they are born. These vast herds don't travel alone. Wolves shadow them all along the way, and they're hungry. seems casual and random. But this running of the herd is a tactic to generate panic. In the chaos, a calf is separated from her mother. young, but it's capable of outrunning the wolf as long as it keeps its footing. At this point, the odds are even. Either the caribou will make a mistake, or after a mile or so, the wolf will give up. spring in the Arctic, and already the sun never sets. And further south, the sunlight begins to work her glorious magic.
These are the forests that we know well, the broadleaf woodlands of Europe and North America. More than any other, these have been crowded out by towns and farmlands. Only fragments remain. The summers are longer here and deciduous trees can flourish. They're far more edible than the conifers of the north, so these forests bustle with life. Spring also means flight school for the mandarin ducks. Mom is in her nest high in the treetops, and it's her job to lead the way. It's their first flight. Actually, I wouldn't call it flying as much as falling with style. Wait, there are two missing. A perfect landing, sort of. With one big adventure behind them, what other challenges are in store for our planet's newest recruits? The rhythm of the seasons is a glorious legacy that we've inherited thanks to that all-important tilt of the earth. As the seasons parade past, the same forest will show her spectacular fall colors and eventually give up her leaves to the snows of winter. There are parts of the world that have no seasons. Here in the tropics, the sun shines for 12 hours a day, every day of the year. This is what allows the jungle to grow unchecked and support so much life. Rainforest now covers just 3% of our planet's surface, 
but contains more than half of all the plants and animals on Earth. The rainforests of New Guinea are especially precious. They are home to 42 different kinds of birds of paradise, each more exotic than the last. This is a particularly rich forest, so the six-plumed bird of paradise has no problem finding food. He can concentrate on more important tasks, like cleaning up for his big date tonight. He's obsessed with housework. Everything has to be spick and span before she comes over. Oh, Mr. Spot. Finally, the stage is set. Get down, baby. It's a virtuoso performance, but unfortunately, she's a no-show. This contender, called the Superb Bird of Paradise, is a magician with a special trick. First, he advertises his show by calling to attract a female. And then, with the audience in place, he begins to work his magic. That's impressive, but she needs to step out for a moment to think. How could a girl resist? Oh boy, well not today. These tropical forests not only enjoy 12 hours of sunshine a day all year long, they also need lots of rainfall. But as the weather patterns change, there are signs that these lush forests are starting to dry up. 